Hello, in this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at Copperfield from Colourfab. So if you want to know more, stick around and I'll show you how my prints came out after the intro. So this sample is, is from Colourfab called Copperfill. I'm going to read out the, the settings here. The hot end temperatures should be 195 to 220. So normal PLA settings basically. And normal print settings always. Uh, it says here uh, Colourfab PLA, PLA PHA blended with copper powder for a filament that is about three times denser than PLA. Sand and polish for its progressively finer grits of sandpaper and polish with steel wool for a metallic looking printed part. And more information on, on colorfab.com. And this is uh, the prints I did here. Um, this one uh, I ran out of filament, but <laughs> I did the, the Maker Coin. And the prints are like brown looking and they are quite heavy and I was using 0.6 millimeter nozzle because uh, what I found out uh, with uh, Copperfield previously that 0.4 nozzle could be clogged so I moved to 0.6 nozzle for this filament um, even though it's 0.6 it came out pretty good and the details in the, in the face are good and in the, in the logo in the back so this was coming out excellent. Um, I also did this Benji, and that came out pretty good. And no stringing or issues, so to speak. Of it, just turned out excellent, and it's quite quite heavy. <laughs> and I still have to try to polish those. Uh, uh, I have used this filament before, and using sandpaper and, and steel wool uh, takes a lot of time to sand. And with intricate models like the Benji, it can be quite difficult. So if you're going to polish stuff, <laughs> you have to think of the geometry of the model. But uh, then I went on to the, the, um, the series layers a lot. And this one I printed at 0.4 millimeter layer heights. So it's quite coarse, uh, but still coming out excellent. It looks pretty nice. And here I just ran out of filament. So <laughs> it has a copycat <laughs> style <laughs> look, <laughs> missing the head. But this was coming out excellent and uh, no issues with printing and overhangs were turning out great and, and basically very easy to, to print. So I was quite happy with this filament and I think I've, I've, I've done several other parts with this filament before and sanded and, and if it's like a smooth surface it's easier to sand and you can get a really good copper shine to models. So if you have like a tumbler you can put parts through that and, and get more uh, shiny <laughs> parts without having to sand everything and then you can get really shiny parts and you could al also um, put some uh, chemicals on the print to get the like a green copper uh, weathering finishing uh, and I've done that in the past with several items and it takes a little bit of time to to let it se settle in, in salt water or some chemicals but you can do that with copper fill but overall this was uh, Printing really nice. I had no problem printing with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle for this filament. The prints came out excellent. And, and what I found out earlier, like I mentioned, 0.4 millimeter nozzles can't get clogged with a copper wheel because of the powder. And I had an issue with that with the previous experience with this filament. So take note, note of that. But otherwise, you should. Uh, if you have products for this copper filament and want to make like agent statues that you want to weather down it could be a good good filament for that so this will be it for this video i'm martin and this is 3d printing iceland if you like what i'm doing here on the channel please subscribe to my channel and give this video a comment or thumbs up or down if depending on how you like it but for now i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one